Now, financial mathematics. This is pretty cool, this stuff. It's um, made a lot easier by Excel, but the textbook is just bizarre. It uses, I mean, the textbook is written for people who aren't particularly good at maths, and yet it uses a first principles approach to teach this, which is way beyond most of the people who are likely to be taking this course. So we don't use the textbook, and instead I've written my own notes. And, um, of course, they're much better. So if you look in module three here, you can see it says financial mathematics notes. So you click on that, hope it works. And here we are. So these are extra notes to supplement it. Don't look that gripping to start with, but it's got spreadsheets, it's got formulas, it's got worked examples, it has all sorts of things that will help you. And I'm actually quite interested in your feedback because this is going to go into a textbook that we're writing for this course. So, um, yeah, and there's a thing called financial model spreadsheets, which is just there, which you can use to go with the notes. So I suggest that you print that lot out, use it as your textbook, and everything will be much clearer. Oh, in case you're interested, just numbers here. So far we have three, there are 375 in the course, of whom I would say probably 300 are serious contenders. About 50, or no, about 30 are repeaters from last year, so they don't have to do module zero, and 300 have actually finished module zero proctor quiz. Um, so I would say there's possibly another 50 who are going to try and get it done the next day or so. And then module one proctor quiz, there are 225 through so far, so that means we've probably got about 125 to get through. So that's quite a lot. Um, we've got 11 people who have passed module two, and two people who have passed module three. So well done, you guys. Yep, you're allowed to work ahead. <laughs> okay, so this is the important concept here. A lot of what we teach in this course is skills-based. It's how you do stuff. And there is just one or two main concepts that I really want you to get. And in fact, like in marketing, I'd almost like you to be able to recite this. So this is our important concept for today which is that discounting allows the comparison of cash flows in different time periods. So really important, write it on your fridge and your loo, something like that. Discounting allows the comparison of cash flows in different time periods. And that doesn't make a lot of sense yet, but today we're going to talk about what that means, and by the end of this lecture you'll understand what it is, and we'll work on it. <laughs> 